Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Dane. I thought I'd get on here and make a quick video about a good friend of mine. Uh, sadly, he uh, he passed away uh, not too many days ago. And I'll give you a brief rundown. And this is also a good warning about the COVID virus out there. It's... It, it's a it's a real thing because that's what that's what did it did him in and it was really sad he was on a, a respirator and he had a tube down his throat and he was quarantined his poor wife couldn't even go and visit him while he had while he was in there while he was in uh while he was in treatment and that that really did bother me and i'm sure even more so his wife and if you have i don't care what you believe in any prayers good vibes whatever you have please send it out to her his name is uh dave and a rundown of how we met pardon me if i'm a little bit shaky doing this video uh, a rundown of how we met it was uh i guess soda doesn't really help huh remember it was 2017 april i believe uh, i remember during that time i didn't have many friends uh pretty much everyone disappeared and much of that was my own fault my own doing and I remember one day I was in downtown Bakersfield in a McDonald's and I was sitting there drinking a soda and this older gentleman in the suit walked up to me and said do you mind if I sit down and talk to the talk to you about the Bible and I said and I kind of sarcastically said are you uh jw or are you a mormon and he said well mormons really don't believe in the bible and i kind of chuckled and said sure sit down and over the the months i'd usually meet him there he would witness to a lot of different people and he would he pretty much dedicated his life to uh teaching the gospel and yeah, as he understood it because he was a Jehovah Witness. Uh, this video isn't about taking sides, obviously. It's just more or less paying tribute to a good friend and helped me a lot. And it definitely pushed me into studying more biblical principle. Not, not to say sit here and say that I'm some great human being without flaw. And I've had this big redemption occurrence, and I'm perfect all around. Definitely not. If anything, it um, following uh, following God just makes you more aware of the things you're doing wrong. It definitely convicts you. Uh, so every day is a struggle trying to do the right things. But anyway, back to Dave. Uh, yeah, he he was one of the few friends who would say, "Hey, call me whenever," and he actually meant it. Because I know a lot of people say, "Hey, call me," and they don't mean it. And he was always there to pick up. He was always there to talk to me. And that's a very rare thing to find. Genuine, true friends in this world. And I was going through a lot of hard times last year. Um, a lot of it I didn't bring to the forefront of this channel. I mean, everything I said was true and was, obviously, I didn't mean what I said, but there was a lot of things going on, and I remember speaking to him a few times about some things I was struggling with, and I remember being very flustered and angry and upset, and about a month ago, after not talking to him, I said, thanks, man, I don't think you can help me, I can, don't think it can help you, but about a month ago, I got a call, and I couldn't answer it because I was in the I was in the car, and the next day um, something told me, "Hey, why don't you call Dave?" And I called him, and 
He said, you uh, you don't seem, your voice sounds different. You don't seem as tense or upset. And it's like, no, I, I want to do right. I want to do good. I wish I would have had that attitude back in my teen years. Uh, or my 20s or my earlier 30s. I wish I... You, know, you can't regret, you can't live in regret, but definitely learn from life experiences. And I, I don't know how he was when he was my age. I'm, I'm sure he had his trials and his tribulations. And I remember sitting there and listening to him and he, he was telling me, uh, he would call God Jehovah, obviously, because uh, he was a JW. And he, as always, he was trying to help. And he said, oh, man, by the way, I got diagnosed with COVID, but I feel fine. I'm going to go in and get checked out a little bit tomorrow. And uh, I said, okay, well, you sound good. I'm sure it's going to be no problem. It's going to be no problem. And, and days passed by, and uh, he started to feel uh, worse and worse. And I asked people to uh, pray for him. And I was so sure that I was going to see him again. I was so sure. And because uh, as I've told you in previous videos, I had, I probably I most definitely had COVID over a year ago. I was sick for many, many weeks. Very, very sick. And this is before COVID was a big deal and yeah, they were having the new normal and everything was on lockdown and stuff. The gyms were still open and I, I didn't realize the severity of it. But long, long story short, he spent, um, I remember sending him messages over those few weeks via Facebook Messenger and other messages and I, I don't want to get into what the hospital mismanaged otherwise I'm going to get really upset but uh, the last some the last couple of messages he, he gave me uh, I think was something along the lines of don't worry about me, my friend. Uh, my resurrection, my afterlife is is assured. And he, he gave me some other words of encouragement. And keep in mind, this guy's very, very sick, and he's trying to encourage me. He's trying to encourage me, uh, somebody who's not even his family. The dude he met in McDonald's a few, uh, you know, several years ago, a few years ago. And he's trying to encourage me, and he, he's sick. He's very, very sick. And I remember not too many nights ago, I, I, I couldn't get through him, so I decided to message his wife, who I met a few times. And, uh, and um, she, she said, he's not doing real well. And next morning, I, I usually, I guess I had my phone off. I turn it on. I see if you have a smartphone, like all the, all the, the updates that you missed while the phone was on, start going do 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 all the Instagram and Facebook. At least mine does because I don't know how to use it very well. And I remember just a quick blurb: Dave passed away. And I said, "What? What?" And I got on my phone and I start going through it and. I, I, I was, uh, I didn't handle it very well. Um, it was definitely a, a, the reason I wanted to make this video was more or less not just a lament over a, a, uh, a friend that passed away, but there's, there's a lot of good people that go out there and they truly, they truly try to help others. They truly try to help others and they, uh, they don't get nearly 
they don't get nearly the notoriety that they should they don't get I mean we have our professional athletes and all these people that we idolize and such but the people who go out and they they give up their day-to-day -day and they sacrifice their day-to-day -day comfort and whatever to go out and witness and help other people a lot of times those people go unnoticed so you know whoever sees this video you know brother Dave he was he was truly a, a, a good man and a great man actually and he uh he he lived his life uh, trying to help others. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, and I would definitely like to do more in the in the near future. I don't know if I'll be cranking a, cranking four out a week, but uh, you could plan on seeing me more than once every. six weeks you could you can rest assured of that there's some more light heart light-hearted topics i'd like to get into some more music reviews there's some things i haven't even touched that i said i would last year but i always do get around to them i mean oftentimes well a lot of times i'll say get, i'll get around to something and it seems like i never will but i always do no matter how much time as long as as long as i keep getting up things will get done as long as I keep waking up, because tomorrow, tomorrow's never promised. Tomorrow's never promised. I always thought I'd see Dave again, and I didn't. So I, whatever the afterlife is is like, I, I definitely want to see him. I want to see my my uh, my folks, especially him and a lot of other good people. I know I don't deserve to go to heaven or be a part of the new system but i read the bible all the time and it says that redemption is not done through works but also faith is dead without works so in my interpretation is it doesn't excuse you from going out there and doing good things but you don't earn your redemption from doing those things but you want to do them anyway that's my interpretation <sighs> So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, friends, uh, much L and R. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, appreciate you listening to this. All right, God bless, love and respect, everyone.